What's up guys, Looney here, and something you probably already noticed, and I know it's jumping into it really quick, there's no like introduction. Uh, the reason it's jumping into it really quick is because, as you can see, I finally have a telemetry in the bottom right hand corner. And that allows you to see my throttle control, and my braking, and my clutch work, and all that. And I also have the wheel view up top. So, that should really help you guys. Um, the reason I didn't have this before is I, cu I couldn't figure it out. Uh, I'm using RFDYN HUD or RFDYN HUD, and it's a uh, it's a different type of HUD. You can have a whole new like a whole bunch of widgets and stuff, but uh, I couldn't get it to work before. And the reason was I didn't have Java 6 installed, and I had to go like go find that. And it took me forever to figure out the problem, but I finally got it working, so you guys can see exactly what I'm doing. But um, welcome back for another episode of the Angle Tracers Guide. And this episode we're going over following, and following is a big part in drifting. It's what makes it fun and then what keeps it entertaining. So there's a lot of things you should know and there's like there's not going to be specific points where I break stuff down in this video because I had to do it all live because within the replay it doesn't show the tel the um, the telemetry in the bottom right it doesn't show that at all so um, that's why I had to do it live and I'm just kind of going to talk over it and you can see what I'm talking about in the video maybe not in specific parts but you can like you can see where I do some of the things that I'm talking about so let's go ahead and jump into it because I don't have a lot of time um, the first thing you want to get good at is mimicking, mimicking the lead car, and um, you want to do everything he does. If he straightens up, you straighten up with him. If he goes wide, you go wide with him. If he, um, I don't know, if he does anything he does, you mimic it. And that's that's good, really going to help you. If you get good at doing that, then you're going to be a great follower. Um, using the lead car, him or her, because I'm not racist. That's not even the right word, but I'm not that word that I can't think of right now. Use the him or her as a moving clipping point. Um, basically, what I just said. You stay on his quarter panel or his door. Use his car as a clipping point. Or her. Because I'm not racist. Uh, wheel movements. Your wheel movements are going to be a bit different. Uh, you might be a little bit smoother behind people. You might be a little bit more sporadic with your wheel movements behind people. Um, it all it really all depends on, on the type of driver if, you, if for me I'm an aggressive follower I don't like to lay back and kind of you know just be cautious when I'm following I like to be aggressive I like to be in their door right on their fucking quarter panel or, or the door and just have fun doing it I'm a very aggressive follower I can't stand to lay back and, and let that person have a gap on me I want to be right next to him when I'm following uh, and that's a, that's, a good, that's a good thing to do. You always want to be aggressive when following. It makes for much better looking tandems, and it looks a lot cooler. I don't know if you guys are noticing, but there's some frame rate in the video, and it sucks. <laughs> um, I was recording with Fraps, but I kept getting frame rate, which made it difficult to record. So, sorry about if the frame rate's fucking with you, because it fucked with me when I was trying to drift. Um, another important part, for me anyway, it might not be for you, but for me, I like to left foot brake when I follow, which is where I'm on the brake, you saw it, right, you could see it right there if you don't um, rewind the, I can't speak, if you rewind the video a little bit right there at the last corner uh, that I just did, I was on the brake and the throttle at the same time and that's called left foot braking. And you have to have a good brake pressure to do that. The brake pressure I use is a 68, um, 30 something, 68, 32 bias to the front, I think that's right, 68, 32, yeah, that's right, 68, 32 bias to the front end and then I use a 70% brake pressure and that allows me to left foot brake very easily without it affecting uh, my wheel movements or affecting the car in any way uh, the front end doesn't grip up when I left foot brake it stays exactly where it, where it should and it just slows the car down which is a huge help when following and I actually use the same brake pressure in Forza which is kind of a um, I guess it backs up Forza's physics a little bit um, in that it doesn't affect you I mean, now that I've, I actually tried playing Forza the other day, just to see what it was like to drift in, and drift in it again, and I, I left foot braked, and it it affects it a lot more than it does in R Factor, but nothing crazy. So, yeah, yeah, you can use this pressure in Forza, but ah, uh, it doesn't work as good. <laughs> um, Another thing you really want to get good at is utilizing the e-brake. The e-brake can be a huge help when following. Some people don't even left foot brake. They just use the e-brake when following. They just keep their hand on it and rip it whenever they need to or keep their finger on it or whatever if you got a button. For me, it's... <laughs> I freaked out there. I was like, what? why did you hit me? Um, but for me, I have like an, I have an actual... like I use a flight joystick as an e-brake. 
so it would be easy for me to just keep my hands on it and just rip it when I needed to. Um, when I first got it, that's what I did. I was experimenting with it, but now I don't do it as much. I, I kind of just um, left foot break. And another thing you want to be good at is utilizing your mirrors, because I mean, yeah, you you can do the head movement in in R Factor. Uh, you can turn that on in the rates uh, screen, but I don't do that because it kind of fucks with me. I like to be able to move my own head and kind of look around, and um, so that doesn't really help me. It more or less screws with me. Like I, it messes up my drifting, so I can't I can't deal with the head movement. Like if I was making the head movements um, in real life, and then then it was doing it in game, that'd be different. Uh, here I go in a third person just to show you some of the tandems. Um, but for me, I just use my mirrors. So, um, like, say someone goes really wide and I can't see them, I use my mirror to see where they are. And that that's what really keeps me from hitting people if I can't see them. So uh, be sure to use your mirrors when you're following because that's really going to help you. Um, another thing you need to know when to do is when to overtake and when not to overtake. If you're following someone and they go really wide, like of course you're going to be using your mirrors to see where they are but you have to know you have to think should I overtake this person because they're that wide and I'm not and now again you want to be following their line but sometimes you just can't sometimes you, f you know it's weird they do it on accident and it's just really hard to follow and you take a shallower line than they do so sometimes it's okay to overtake them but sometimes it's not sometimes you just want to left foot break and wait for them to pop back in front of you um, for me I think if I'm looking at my mirror and I have enough room to, to complete the overtake without it messing messing me up or messing them up, then I'll do it. I'll, th I'll go ahead and overtake them and then keep on with the with the drift. Um, but if I don't have enough room, I just left foot brake and wait until they pop back in front of me. Um, I think that's the best thing to do if, if you don't have enough room. So that's just what I do. But the video is kind of coming to a to a close here. Um, oh, by the way, I'd like to thank J Spec Boss and Dan, who is behind me in the yellow S13, for helping me with this video. Um, I just hopped in D Drift Box and they just, I said, can someone tan it with me for a video? And they were like, yeah, sure, we'll help out. So thanks to them for that. And um, I don't know what happened there. I think it was loading a car, probably. Um, but um, what else is there? Did I leave out anything? Remember, guys, if I left out anything, put it in the comments. I'll explain it in the description as best as I possibly can if I left anything out, but I don't think I did. Um, so I want to thank you guys for watching. If, if this has helped you, please be sure to leave it a like, you know, comment, tell me what you thought, what I could have did better. Um, the next episode is probably going to be on leading, uh, which is kind of important. I did following first because for some people it's easier to learn to follow first than it is to lead. So um, please subscribe if this has helped you and you want to learn how to drift better and things like that. And um, So yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll talk to you later.